What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another edition of Shakas and Swings. I have my very special guest and great friend, Tamua Tuanei, in the house. What is up, my man? What's up, man? Dude, so glad you could join <laughs> us. We're uh, at the good old Waikele Country Club. Special thanks to uh, everyone here for always putting on a great uh, course for us. Uh, we've got a lot of good memories here at this course. Yeah, it's my uh, favorite course on the island, and... Um I shot my worst rounds here, but it's okay. What what what, what what's your best round <laughs> my here? My best round here, um, ninety two. Ooh, yeah, ninety two. Right, you're on close. The front, front nine, the front nine. The front nine. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we got that taken care of. Um, isn't this where we filmed one of your your golf skits? Yeah, one of my first golf skits was here. Yeah, I only, I mean, I did two golf skits, but mm. both of them were here. That's actually, right. Yeah, yeah. It was actually with with Hunter. Um, I did my my local golf how local golf golfers are or whatever first time golfer that's right so yeah i was way way back during covid but um i'm surprised yeah. they let you back after driving into the golf the uh, <laughs> the sand trap with the golf cart bro yeah i mean i didn't even see it coming <laughs> i know you didn't uh, luckily i'm driving today though guys so we kind of uh, take care of Tamu a little bit but uh brah like uh how'd you play today i did uh, today we just was messing around you yeah know, practicing and uh I had a few good shots. Yeah. You think? yeah. How many Ulu mics out there? Ulu mics. <laughs> well, if they don't know what Ulu mics means, um, <laughs> it's a term that comes from Ulu Maika, which is a, a Hawaiian game that the Hawaiians would play back in back in the day, mm. back in the Hawaiian days, where they would, they would roll this this ball or kukui nut. I don't know what it was. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, say yeah. Everything backwards. Comments. Let let let, let us have it. Yeah, I'm Portuguese. Everything backwards. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, it would, be, it would be a game where the ball rolls on the grass. And um, that's what I do. We, we, don't, we don't hit in the air. I hit the ball. Kind of the top them. Yeah. It's all them. good, bro. Um, you know, I'm glad I'm glad that you're here. Um, but I kind of wanted to play with Governor Ige. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Cause, <coughs> well, while he's still in office. Uh, yeah, he has about a couple, couple three months left. Could yeah. we get a Governor yeah. Ige uh, <coughs> um, appearance? Oh, 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 hello and good evening, everybody. <laughs> yeah, um, you... Uh, certainly, uh, I, I had a good, you know, golf game today, and uh, the, the, I, I want trying to get a hole in two. Hole in two for the for my last term here. You you uh, <laughs> you hit a couple off the rail. <laughs> couple off the rail. <laughs> I hit a couple off the rail, but how do I do this? What what's honey? What's my password again for my Twitter? Password? Gotta call him. Yeah. Oh my call gosh. <laughs> Bro, that's so great. You know, all of the videos that you've done, do you have a favorite character, if you could um, name one? Shoot, uh, all of them are my favorite ones. But, but, they're um, like all your kids. Yeah, they're all like all my kids, but I, I had really fun doing the, the um, Kaniala flight attendant. Oh, like, bra, that's one airlines. of my favorites. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Just, like, especially with someone like, uh, what high school are you from? And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for my experience living in Hawaii for like the last 10 years, that's one of like, the favorite questions of, of people is to ask what, what yeah. high school you're from. Yeah, what high school you went, yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you. That's thank amazing. you for correcting me. Yeah. I, I'm <laughs> saying it wrong already. The, the Howley guy in the car is saying yeah, it wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you for correcting me. But, um, oh, no, bro, you don't say what high school. You say, oh, what, what school you went. There we go. He would say, oh, uh, UH. No, 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 high school. We don't care about college. There we go. He we corrected me college. left and right. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me right, bro. I love it. Um, you know, kind of with that in mind, I kind of wanted to go back in time for a second, okay? So five years ago and change, May 6th, 2017, you did your first stand-up show at Anna O'Brien's. Oh, yeah. Kind of talk talk people through that who may oh, not shoot. know. Is that the exact date? That's the exact oh, date. I went back and found it earlier today. Oh, wow. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, you are on that, that show too. I yeah. was. Yeah. People yeah, may that. not know this, but me and Tamua, before he hit fame and fortune, we took a theater class our senior year of college together yep. and did a stand-up comedy class. Yeah, that was how I got into the comedy. And yeah, Hunter was, 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 he was the, he was half the class. We only had four people. We did, we, we had four people class. in it. Yeah. We didn't to two other guys. Every time someone went to the bathroom, we had to pause because we only had two people. <laughs> <in the laughs> so <class>. true. <laughs> um, but part of our final, <coughs> we had to do 15 minutes of live stand-up in yep. front of a crowd. Yeah, I remember that. And so we brought the whole team down. We brought the entire UH football team to Anna yeah, O'Brien's. That was the biggest crowd they had at that show. It did. Because <laughs> all the guys wanted to see if we were funny. Yeah. It was nerve-wracking, too, because, yeah. like, you'd, you'd hear it from the team if you weren't funny. Yeah, yeah. But you and, killed it, bro. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you, you had a good good set, too. He's, he's being far from too what kind I right now. Yeah, from what I remember. Oh, my gosh. So it was fun. I mean, I remember that day. 
uh, yeah, everyone came down, and um, because because people didn't expect me to be a comedian, you know. Um, yeah, you were doing magic in the magic, in the locker room, bro. Yeah, yeah, doing magic. But um, yeah, I remember that, and then uh, it felt good. That was like my first show that I had like good laughs. You know, I think yeah. I did like one or two open mics before that, but it was was horrible. But that was like the first time I had motivation of like, okay, maybe I can start doing. Can this do now. this. And then after that. Um, Jose Dynamite, which is a, a promoter mm. for that, that was that show at Anna O'Brien, started calling me up and then had me perform next week. And then uh, I was like, oh, like what? I, this is only for a class. He yeah. goes, oh, no, I want you to come back. I was like, oh, okay. So I just kept doing that, kept doing that. And it's been five years. And then started doing the skits. Um, yeah, the skits. Um, I started doing that uh, like about two years ago. Yeah. Uh, during during COVID. Um, because everything started closing down. You know, I had like totally. a, a monthly show at... at um, Honey's restaurant at Koalau Golf Course. That's right, I remember yeah, that. I'll perform there every second Fridays. And then when, when COVID hit in 2020, um, the, the golf course was shut down. Everything was shut down. And um, I was like, am I going to just sit at home and do nothing or, or do something, you know? So people told me, oh, you got to do you gotta do skits. And I, and I was like, you know, I want to be a real comedian. I'm not like those, yeah, yeah. those Instagram guys, you know, but nothing against them. I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 nothing, yeah. Nothing shout out to them. ESPN Honolulu's <laughs> Instagram too, by the way. If you want great content, give us a shout out. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so I started doing that. I think I did like a, a toilet paper skit or something about COVID and it went, it went viral. I think it was on the news that, that night. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is what the local people want. So I kept doing that, kept doing that. And then my social media following just blew up and grew. And then from there, when I had the green light to do a live show at Blue Note, um, as soon as I put it out, it, it like sold out like instantly. Yeah, that's and, right. And so it, it, it goes hand to, hand in hand. You know, people see my, my skit side and they see my stand-up side. So it's like a big marketing thing. You know, I, I, all my stuff, I try to push people to come to my live shows. It's pretty wild to think that we're just a little over two months away from you selling out the Blaisdell. Yeah. I mean, is there anything Blaisdell. you want to plug? I, I don't want this to be just about us playing golf. Like, do you have anything you want um, to plug in this show? You, you, you guys get one, one iPhone charger. My phone, my phone is dead. Can I plug it in? <laughs> different, oh, different, okay. different kind of plug, bro. Number one USB different, in the, in the different camera. Different kind of plug. USB. You guys get one USB? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> your shows. You want to plug your oh, shows? Right shows oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, November 12th and 13th, uh, Blaisdell Arena. Um, yeah, the first show was sold out. Just wanted to mention that. Yeah. Yeah, so second show, November 13th. Um, you guys can come down. Um, tickets at tumulcomedy.com or ticketmaster.com. Uh, show for all ages, gonna be fun, and I uh, can't wait to make you guys laugh. This is gonna be my biggest show yet, so um, crazy to think, you know, five years, was it May 6th, you said? May 6th, yeah. 2017, bro. Yeah, yeah, five years ago, I was with, with this guy. That's you know? so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Murray. <laughs> yeah, Nick Murray was our teacher, <laughs> but um, yeah, we, we were both in that, that comedy class. Yeah. Um, do you have one of your, your jokes you remember you did? Oh, man. Because I remember mine, the, the yeah. one one that I, I, I had. But do you have any one that you... Well, I found out very quickly that if you make fun of the fact that you're a white guy living in Hawaii and the struggles yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. like, it, it works well with local people. So I kind of ran it on that a little bit. Like, uh, when I first learned how to use the shaka in the car mm -hmm. um, to, like basically allow me to drive anywhere I wanted to. Right, right. Um, that was kind of one of the jokes was uh, if you flow, you throw up the shocker, you can yeah, pretty yeah, much okay. drive anywhere yeah. you want to. But how you throw it up, yeah, not... That's not, right. Not like this. I'm still, I still got it wrong. It's <laughs> yeah, too tight. Yeah, we we loosen, gotta loosen it yeah, up loosen a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. That's still a little, a little yeah. too... Maybe, that? That's kind of too... That's, too much. Yeah. No, that, yeah, maybe more like this. Too loose. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me when. Tell right me there, when. Right there, good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got to remember that right there. Okay, guys. <laughs> right there. Just turn into a half. There we yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is actually a shocker right here. That's why people don't notice, but. <laughs> Bro, that's like barely even <laughs> less than a wave right oh, there. Uh, there you go. Know, that's a shocker. The, the, the other one that I remember. You're from Hawaii, if you notice. There we go. That's right. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Oh, my Shockers, <laughs> shockers and swings. <laughs> that, bro, it looks like your head is bust right there. <laughs> looks like it's all stiff. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, well, speaking of which, the other joke that really at least did well that night was convincing people that I was from Hawaii. Whenever I first moved out here, I learned that if you said you were from Hawaii, you got discount at, yeah. like, the grocery store at golf courses saying you were Kamaaina. Kama yeah. And so I would say, you know, hey, I'm here for the Kamaaina discount. Yeah. And then they'd ask me where I was from. And, I, you know, the, I, I would tell the person checking 
my groceries out. Uh, I'm from I'm from Iwa Beach. Iwa Beach. I take the the like like highway to get home. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember that joke. Yeah. Did, yeah. I mean, you tell me, was it okay? Was it, was, it, it was okay. It was yeah. okay. <laughs> it was okay. Uh, it needed work. I appreciate the honesty, bro. I I, I even feel vulnerable even trying it out right here. Yeah, it was funny. It was yeah, okay. it's funny coming from you too. You know. <laughs> You can make that kind of jokes because you are a white white person. I maybe. think I'm the whitest guy in Hawaii, bro. Yeah, I yeah. might have that, that box checked. <laughs> um, if you haven't been to one of Tamua's shows, uh, it's a fantastic experience because there's a chance you might get called on in the crowd. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Uh, one of your strengths as a comedian is your crowd work. And kind of in that same vein, have you had to deal with heckling much while you're on the road? Um, not too much. Like, I never dealt with any bad hecklers, you know. Um, maybe now that I'm saying this, people might try. I know. But, but, <laughs> but I've dealt with, like, good hecklers, like, the kind where they're just too drunk and they just won't stop talking yeah. or, I mean, stop laughing or making noise. Like, they're not saying anything bad, you know? Okay. Yeah, like, maybe laughing at the wrong spots, you know? For sure. Oh, my name is Tumo, I'm someone, boom, they start cracking up. Like, oh, relax, I never come with the punchline yet. Relax, yeah, relax. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? But, um... <laughs> Yeah, those guys is fun. To deal with that is like you just gotta give them their 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 fame, their their eight second fame. You That's know? right. Talk to them. They want the attention. They want people, you know, knowing that. Oh, I mean, I have a conversation with this guy on stage. So. Well, if you guys want your ten seconds of fame, November sixth and seventh at the Blaze uh, Arena. Twelfth and thirteenth. Twelfth and thirteenth. Yeah, there yeah. we go. I got it wrong already. I'm glad we got corrected right there. <laughs> Thank you, bro. So people may uh, not actually know that you're a uh, kind of an athlete, bro. Like, how long have you been playing golf? Uh, um. Been playing like since since COVID. Okay. So about two years. Nice. Yeah. Along with half the world. Along with half the world. Yeah. That was a, that was a sport of COVID, right? It really was, yeah. man. Everyone picked up golf. It's uh, good for social distancing. <laughs> yeah. I remember it, like every tea time being booked like every day. Yeah. Know? Oh, totally. It, yeah. it kind of still are. Shout out to White Kelly for helping us out yeah. today. It's addicting, though. You know, um, it's a good good sport that it's really just between you and you. <laughs> uh, but uh, have you noticed any carryover from the game of golf to kind of what you grew up playing football? Have you noticed any carryover in the two um, sports? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just like being outdoors, you know. I, mm. I, I noticed that it, it gives me flashbacks of playing football with the, the smell of the grass. Yeah. And just, just like being out with the, the sunlight and, and coming early, you know. Yeah. You know, it's almost like, like morning practice. but um, Still yeah. waking up. Still waking up. Yeah. Trying to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the main thing I picked Good thing up we on. don't have a whistle blowing at us while we're <laughs> on the golf course. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. Have you been down to the new T.C. Ching Complex yet where UH is playing? I've been there uh, to check out their practice one time, but okay. I, I didn't. I haven't gone to the games yet. But mm. um, I heard it's a, a great atmosphere. It's you know? really good. It's good scene because um, it was sold out Yeah, the, the past two home games. It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's great. We just got to start winning. Yeah, I just got to start winning. If uh, we start winning, Tamu will start coming by. <laughs> Yeah. Is, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, if you guys win, I'll come by. Man, he no, goes that, from play, that sounds, that he goes bad. from player to fairweather fan now. I mean, what happened, bro? That sounds bad. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always support. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't know that I was actually uh, playing for for UH. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, just practicing. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> bro. We just practicing. <laughs> we were uh, we were on the special uh, the, the, the special, special team. teams. Yeah. <laughs> Special teams team. Practice was our game. It was, bro. Yeah, yeah. And we showed out. Yeah, yeah. This guy hit hard, man. Because he was on defense, I was on offense. People may not know that. Like, he packed a punch, man. I did not like getting hit by Tumua. The, the Samoan side showed out, bro, the for Samoan real. side, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, that was fun. I mean, just being being around the boys. And, um, you know, I, you and I could have easily quit because we weren't playing you know but it's a different thing when, when you're yeah. on a team and and it's not really it's more than just a game you know people always say it's a reflection of life and it, mm. it really is just dealing with adversity and and you know we, we may we may was we, sorry stuttering already <laughs> <laughs> too much concussions too much yeah? concussions yeah. yeah oh cte already oh we may we may we may had had all time had all time playing uh, i just i just run i just hit i just hit i just hit <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, uh, pray uh, for Tamu. Next question. Think, next question. Yeah, I get it rolled up. Okay, right if you can remember, <laughs> if you can remember, what's your favorite memory from your time playing at UH? Um, my or maybe a handful. Um, were you there when I did the, the stand-up show for the team? You, yeah, 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 yeah totally. <laughs> uh, at the banquet, um, he impersonated all the coaches. <laughs> yeah, and I was teasing some of the coaches and 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 just hitting subjects that a lot of people 
wouldn't talk about on the team because yep. it was hot to- hot topics. But um, yeah, that was that was a good memory. Mm-hmm. I remember. Um, I think the special teams coach. He wasn't there anymore. Yeah, he's not. He's not there anymore. But he was coach Demo. No, no, it was uh, before coach him. Mayor. Oh, after coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 coach yeah. Mayor. I did a joke about him, and he was kind of. Yeah, you got offended. Yeah. That's right. So Rolovich uh, called me in the office and he said, can you apologize to <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's feeling a little butthurt about it. Your first experience with bad press yeah. doing comedy was with yeah, football. Yeah, it, it was with football. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a fun moment. Um, also, just like being, being in the locker room, mm-hmm. um, playing cards. We'd always play cards, play trumps a lot. And um, yeah, having the relationships with the boys in there is all the memories I would... I'll never forget. Even even traveling too. Traveling was fun. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I, I would travel, but just as special teams. So it was good. I mean, I could just eat all the pregame meal, all the all the food <laughs> I want. <laughs> just keep grinding, grinding. You know, I'm not play, only going in for two plays. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That's I'll, great. I'll never man. forget that. Oh man. Um, we're kind of coming to the uh, the second half of the segment where we kind of hit the quick fire question round real quick. If, if you're okay with that, as we kind of close things up. I'm, um, not, I'm not okay. You're not okay? <laughs> We're going forward anyway, bro. All right. Um, first one is favorite joke you've ever written. Uh, my favorite joke I ever written. One of my classic jokes where I, I, I talk about uh, my ethnicity is about, I, I say that I'm um, half someone, half Portuguese. Uh-huh. Um, which is a weird mix of one Portuguese. That means I can climb up one coconut tree. Can't forget back down. But I don't forget back down. Yeah, yes, yeah. bro. That's, <laughs> That's from all the way back <laughs> all the in way our back. our stand up comedy days, yeah, man. Yeah. I remember when you first tried that out yeah. in the basement of Candy <laughs> Theater at UH, bro. Yeah, I remember yeah. that joke. Oh man. Okay. Um, chicken katsu or local moko? Uh, chicken katsu. Where's the spot? Um. Kimchi One has good chicken katsu. Ooh, yeah. okay. In Kaneohe. Kaneohe. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. All right. <laughs> Childhood crush. Childhood crush. Um, is it? Oh, I had a big crush on Hilary Duff. Duff. Ooh. Mm. Lizzie yeah. McGuire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disney Channel, bro. Um, your lifelong comedy dream. Lifelong comedy dream. Uh, probably just be doing comedy for a living until i die you know i mean mm. like you see all these big names these big comedians they just go on and on about 30 40 years into the game and um, yeah they just live off of that so that's the goal and just keep keep grinding have any hopes or aspirations to maybe break into movies or something like that yeah i mean that too uh that come comes along with it you know yeah. that's usually the next step after you do stand-up comedy is getting into movies so in acting and um which is why i minored in, in theater at uh that's right so um Hopefully, that, that's that's the plan. Nice, bro. One person, past or present, that you would share the stage with? Maybe you open for or be in a movie with? Um, probably, um, well, I'm a big Richard Pryor fan. I mean, he passed yeah. away. Yeah, he, I would say he's, he's the greatest, but um, I'm a big Joe Coy fan, too. I mean, I, I, I know Joe, Coy's I know the Joe man. Coy and stuff, but I never performed with him. Um, Dave Chappelle too would be would be awesome to just mm. to just like pick his brain and talk yeah. to him. Yeah, I feel like that's awesome, man. Um, let's see here: spend musubi or poke bowl? Uh, poke bowl. And where's the spot? Um, it depends. There's a there's a few. Um, I would say off the top of my head, Ono Seafood at uh on Kapahulu. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Right on, Spicy man. Ahi. Let's see here. Okay, this is our last question. It's my favorite one to ask all of our guests. It's the hardest time you've ever laughed. Um, there's many times, and it's it's always like those late nights when you're delirious and something so small happens and, and you would laugh. Um, but one that I distinctively remember is when um, I was with my dad and he had to he had to make doo-doo real bad dri- <laughs> driving home and just, love seeing, the doo-doo just story. seeing him, you know, like just <laughs> sweating, breathing hard, <laughs> turning down the radio, like the music. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's going to help. Yeah, yeah you got to focus. So I focus. You know. Focus on the clench. Yeah, focus on the clench. <laughs> <laughs> Did he make it? He made it, yeah, he made them. Good for him. Yeah, had to go McDonald's parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> parking the handicapped stall, no shame, nothing, and, just run in. And you're just dying the whole time. <laughs> yeah, dying the whole time. Um, another time, uh, I don't know what, what part of, the, of it was um, was the movie Mall Cop. 
Okay. I don't know. I don't know why, but Paul like, Blart. Yeah, but I watched it in theaters when it came out, and I just remember like dying laughing in that movie. It's just a stupid movie, but I think I was laughing more because everyone around me was laughing. The whole the whole theater was laughing. Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember a last time a movie made the whole theater laugh like mm. that hard. You know. Dang, that's cool. <laughs> Kevin James, man. He's Kevin the James, man. yeah, yeah. That's sick. Well, Tamula, thank you so much for coming on the show for us today. Um, get your tickets for uh, his show on November 12th and 13th. I got it right this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, bro, let's uh, let's play golf some more often, man. Yeah. I miss seeing you. Let's do it, yeah. I'm trying to bring that number down. Oh, dude, you're you're, you're right on the money, man. You're doing fine. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you. guaranteed, man. Yeah, thank you so much. Me. And we'll see you guys next time on Shakas and Swings. Aloha. Aloha.